Welcome to the next season of Doctor Who, in which Stephen Moffat will continue to make us scared of mundane things like the Wi-Fi. I definitely really liked this episode. I thought it was a good way to and not really reintroduce, but reintroduce Clara. Um, I'm kind of sad that like some of her geeky nerdy computer skills comes from like her being modified like a Sims character. But I'm grateful that they're staying, and that's part of her now. So that that's nice. Um, I also I don't remember if I mentioned it if they had it during the Christmas episode or not, but I really like the new intro. I think it's pretty cool and much more spacey, and I like that. And so inspired by that, I'm going to try to make a new intro for these videos, which I've started on, but because I didn't think of that until today, it will definitely not be done until at least next video. I've also been seeing a lot on the internet there's a lot of similarities between Clara and Rose, which makes me really happy because when I first saw Clara, like I really liked her and Rose is still my favorite companion, but Clara is becoming my new favorite companion. So already that's pretty cool. Um, people pointed out similarities like different times that Clara has been wearing a rose, uh, the fact that Clara called the phone box, which is a brilliant meaning for the Bells of St. John. I had not even thought of that at all. I was definitely thinking of a church of some sort. And, wow, that was very creative and subtle. But Clara called the TARDIS, and Rose is the only other companion I know that is called the TARDIS. Or... Well, maybe, no, she didn't call the TARDIS, but it was with her that the TARDIS was called. She might have called the TARDIS, too. Other little things I liked about this episode was the fact that the Doctor keeps his bow tie in a box. Like, it's some sort of awesome treasure. And the fez, that he still has the fez. But then he gave away the fez, and I was sad. But... <sighs> Anyways. I also liked when... I mean, yes, it's slightly creepy that the doctor was just kind of guarding Clara outside of her room, but the fact that she was, like, leaning out of her bedroom window and talking to him totally reminded me of, like, the Romeo and Juliet balcony scene, which I thought was kind of cool. And I don't remember too much of what happened in the balcony scene, but there is the line, about, like, something like, uh, call, or, like, a rose by any other name would smell as sweet, and there you have more Rose and Clara connections. So... Oh, and plus we know that Billy Piper is coming back for the 50th anniversary. I can definitely imagine Clara and Rose getting along very well. More on that, I actually wrote a brief fanfiction about it for a contest that I'll link down below. I was also disappointed that Clara didn't say that it's smaller on the outside and said that, that was just the Victorian era, Clara. I also love how much Stephen Moffat knows his audience really well. I mean, for a lot of TV shows, if you, like, tried to make something scary out of, like, a Wi-Fi password and the internet, you'd be like, oh, that's kind of weird, or like, yeah, I know, the internet's a scary place. But I think Stephen Moffat knows that his audience spends a lot of time on the internet, and he definitely tries to make other things he ma that he makes us afraid of, like, commonplace things, too. Like the one episode that the Bluetooth earpieces turned you into Cybermen, that was kind of freaky and weird and I do not want an earpiece and, you know, the Weeping Angels and Shadows and now the Wi-Fi, so uh, that's kind of fun. And I also thought it was kind of weird and creepy how the lady was using all the other people to talk to the doctor and they didn't really notice. It was weird. Is like being possessed, and I've been watching too much Supernatural lately, so it's kind of slightly more freaking me out. It's just, uh... Anyways, I'm really excited for the next episode tomorrow, because they said it's a proper spaceship episode, and the sort of, like, movie poster for it. They had candelabras! I love candelabras! They're, like, the coolest things ever. So, I'm excited... Hope you guys are excited. 
girls, I hope you put up reviews too because I think we should keep doing this and I like hearing your thoughts. So, I hope you guys had an awesome week and enjoyed the episode. DFTBA.